Hey guys, today on Courtney Sweets, we're making Instant Pot Baton Round Roast. It's super flavorful, really quick and easy to make. It takes you like five minutes to get it ready, and then it takes an hour to cook, and then you have a delicious and flavorful meal for dinner. So let's go. To just put it on saute mode, and then I'm gonna put some avocado oil in there, about a tablespoon. I put the avocado oil in there that gives it more flavor once we sear it we'll sear it on all four sides and then we'll let it cook in the instant pot and I have a three pound piece it's like it's actually 2.96 pounds so I'm not gonna be adding any beef broth to this so I'm gonna leave that fat on for flavor and we can skim it later and we're gonna put this in the instant pot and let it sear so we want to make sure it's nice and hot and then we'll let that sear and we're going to rotate it. So while that's searing, I'm just going to grab some seasonings out of the spice cabinet. And you can hear it searing nicely. One and a half tablespoons of garlic. And then I'm going to go in with two tablespoons of Lari seasoned salt. One. And it seems like a lot, but we're not using broth. You want some salt? You can have salt, silly. And then I'm gonna put like a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And then if you'd like, you can put some little green in. I put like about a half teaspoon of parsley. But you could also do that at the end with some fresh parsley. I actually like to do both. So now this has been searing probably for two or three minutes. I'm actually gonna turn this. And I like to use a pair of tongs because I don't want to burn myself. I'm turning this, I actually want to really make sure that it's ready to turn. So I'm gonna go close. Yeah. You'll know it's ready to turn once it's got, hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the camera to it because it's a little too heavy for me. You can see it's nice and browned on the bottom. I have some caramelization. Now we're gonna let it cook for a few more minutes on the bottom side. You could also do it on the sides, but I'm not gonna go crazy because we're cooking it in the Instant Pot. So I'm just really merely doing this for flavor. And now I'm gonna take these seasonings. Once that's done sizzling, I'm actually gonna turn it off because it's gonna still cook on saute mode. Um, and I'm going to take these seasonings, give it a little mix, and then just pour it right on over. And it might seem like a lot, but it's a big piece of meat, and we're going to be adding in water. Um, the reason I don't add in broth is because we have a lot of salt in there as well as the meat is going to flavor it. And I'm making it for baby, but you can add in beef broth, which is what my mom used. Add in four cups, and then I'm going to add in another cup because I only have a four cup measure. Good. So we have everything in there. I'm gonna put my lid on and I'm gonna hit my meat stew button, which is actually set for my programmed time anyway. So it's 60 minutes, high pressure, and then we're gonna let that cook and I'm gonna put it on sealing as well. And then we're just gonna let that cook for an hour and we'll see it when it's done. Hi, baby. So we're gonna let that cook now. So the pin just dropped and I'm gonna take it out of the Instant Pot now. But what I wanna do is when I take it out, I wanna let it rest for 10 minutes. We want all those juices to redistribute. Even though it's cooking in juices, we still don't wanna cut a meat right away or a chicken, a poultry, whatever. You want those juices to redistribute into the proteins and all that. So when you cut it right away, all those juices just spill out. Let it mellow for like 10 minutes before you do that. So here's what it looks like. And if you used a beef broth um, or a stock, It'll have a richer color. So now I'm gonna let that rest for 10 minutes. Alexa, set 10 minute timer. 
10 minutes, starting now. And we'll cut it in 10 minutes. Trim this fat off the bottom, and you wanna make sure that you're not getting too much of the meat off. I'm gonna do it in slices. You could do it in a chunk. You could shred it, whatever you want, but I like to, just, I'm a lefty, so I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> and then hope you guys can see it. And then as I cut it, I like to put it right back into the Instant Pot with all those juices so it gets all that flavor. Put it right back into the Instant Pot so all those flavors from the juice get into the meat. And I love when like it gets all shredded like that. These are my favorite parts. <laughs> So now that we have our meat sliced, I put it back in the juice and I'm gonna actually put it back on pressure cooking for about 10 minutes because I really wanna make sure all of that broth really gets into all of the meat and I want it to get a little bit more tender. You could also cut the time instead of doing an hour and then slice it and then do this so it's quicker, but I just like to do it this way because I really make sure it gets nice and tender. So I'm just, I'm just gonna press cancel and I'm gonna quick release the steam. You wanna do this carefully. If you're scared to use your hands, you could use like the back of a spoon or something, but I'm pretty used to it. You can serve it with your favorite vegetables or a side salad. And let's dig right in. We have some that fell apart here and then we have some soft pieces right here as well. And then I like to serve it with rice and just enjoy it like this. So good. Oh my goodness. And it literally falls apart. Like you don't even need a knife, it just falls apart beautifully. Mmm. It's so good. Sometimes I find bottom round rows on sale, which hasn't been the greatest sales compared to what they used to be due to inflation and everything just being crazy pricing now. It used to be about 99 pounds, it's 350 on sale now, but Regular price is like $6. My butcher has it for $7.49 a pound, which is a lot of money. So when I find it for $3.49, $3.50 a pound, I will actually buy a few and then prep them like this and then put it in the freezer so I can just pull it out and have a warm meal whenever we're ready. So it's perfect for freezing and my family really enjoys it. Again, it's really easy to make in the Instant Pot. It only takes like five minutes to prep an hour to cook so you don't have too much prep time ahead but if you want just a quick and easy freezer meal this is also great to freeze. So I have a little piece here with some juice. You can see I don't want it to spill. Oh god it spilled. <laughs> and the baby wants it. It's nice and pork tender. Very hot. Uh, it's very hot. Oh was it hot? Oh. <laughs> but as you can see I'm literally able to mm, take it off with a fork. You want more? <laughs> it's not really that hot, actually. I did let it cool. Yeah? And then if it's tough, you can cook it for a little bit more, put it on the Instant Pot a little longer. It literally falls apart in his mouth, which is great. He's got no teeth in the back. Um, so <laughs> we're all about tender, easy to chew. See, I'm still working on getting teeth in the front. We've only got six teeth and we're cutting some molars finally, yeah, but not enough to really like chew, chew. So pork tender, it's literally falling apart <laughs> and he's devouring it. And yeah. It's yummy. Say yum yum. It's so good. We hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you soon with another delicious recipe. And leave a comment below to see what we should make next. Tell us. Should we make something that you guys want to see? We've got a lot of food allergies in our house. So we're always making allergy-friendly recipes, and I'm going to go get him some more because he's loving it. Bye, guys.